Hey guys, I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. Couch cast edition. Yes, it is. And couch cast is going to be a little bit different today because... Bethany's we, breaking the rules. No, we actually know what we're talking about ahead of time today. <laughs> yes, we Because do. it was brought to our attention by two of our most loyal listeners, Krista and Krista Ray. Krista and I t- Ray. I told them I would say both of them. Hey, names. y'all. Um, they both. Okay, so last week, you know, we talked about friend zoning and all oh, the fun yes. that goes with that. And so at the end, remember we were like, okay, so we talked to the guys and we asked them how they friend zone someone and why. Well, apparently we talked plenty about how they do it, but we never circled back around to why. It's very and so true. I, Krista and Ray both came in my office on Wednesday and they were like, um, y'all didn't answer the question. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? We didn't. And how bad is it when you forget to answer your own question? <laughs> I know. We wrote the question. Like, this is the answers. point of podcasting. So, we circled back around to Kristen's dear brother mm. and said, hey, so why do you friend zone someone? And we were like, and he, he didn't really say anything for a while. No. She, Chris, okay, you can take it from here. Oh, no, you no, were no. the one talking no, no, to no. him. Keep going. <laughs> Kristen was basically like, okay, so you're like, she's really pretty, but I don't want to date her. Why what why reason, not? Why would that be? So first of all, let's caveat. We realize if you're not attracted to the person and there's no chemistry, friend zone. Friend zone. Totally get it. Totally fine. Yeah. It's a thing. It's I, a factor and that's normal, I think. Yeah, I had to give my brother Brett that caveat. I was like, Okay, I obviously no, if you don't think she's pretty, you're gonna friend zone her and he was like, Well duh. <laughs> but yeah, I had him rattle off a few reasons as to why he would friend zone a girl. So here were some of the things he said. Number one, no common interests, which I told him on the phone and Bethany was laughing with me (laughs) when he said this. I was like, every time we talk to guys, common interest is one of the first things that comes up. And Brett's response was really interesting. He was like, well, why wouldn't it? Yeah. He didn't think anything different. But it's just funny because that's how a guy's brain is wired. But Bethany and I were like, well, I don't expect a guy to, what did you say? Go to the mall and go shopping shopping and and get your nails done and... You You call your girlfriends and go do that. Yeah. Or girls, I feel like we've talked about this before, but we just like to sit and talk. We don't even have to be doing anything. Yeah. Whereas guys are more kind of action based. Yeah. But yeah, so common, if there are no common interests, that was the first thing he said. Two, not being willing to take an interest in his interests. Also true. So you don't have to love all of them, but if you really are into it for him Mm -hmm. and that's okay. I don't think that's fake. I'm not saying act like you've always loved this thing. But basically you're saying, hey, you're important to me, so I'll be interested in what you're interested in. Yeah. So anyway, I think that's why. Yeah, I definitely And that's more that. once you're dating, too. I guess oh, now that sure. I kind of think of it, that's mm-hmm. not really a before yeah. you even get to that yeah, stage sure. part. Because he's going to want to know, like, are we going to have things to talk about and do together? Exactly. Because if we're not, then, like you said, you're just pretty, but I don't want to date you. Yep. Uh, the next thing he said is um, she flirts with every guy in the room. Fair enough. I wouldn't want to date a guy that flirted with every girl in the no, room. No, you don't want somebody that's just bebopping their way around and making their way through a group. Shamelessly flirting. Exactly. I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. Well, and I know this about Brett just because we're super close, but yeah, you've known him a while, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, for, you know, most of his life. Um, <laughs> but that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like everybody to know. My brother and I are very close. We're like best friends. <laughs> Faithfulness is a really big thing to him. And he's been cheated on before. Mm. So if you're flirting with everybody, that's a ding, ding, ding. You aren't going to m- possibly be yeah. faithful to me. So I'm not even going to go there. Well, and it goes back to, like we did talk about in that episode, that you may think you're flirting with other guys to make someone jealous. But now you've heard it from them. That says, hey, no go friend zone so yeah that's true it doesn't think about that. yeah it, it kind of circle back proves that point yeah so yeah another thing he said was if she's immature which i thought was very interesting from my 24 year old <laughs> brother i was like wow okay well and that i think that will vary from person to person oh i totally agree on the girl side and the guy side yeah uh but yeah i mean he doesn't want to have to be responsible for you no you well know? he's out of college at this point yeah so you're not in the whole high school, college dating phase of, you know, oh, this is fun and whatever. It's like, oh, no, now my future's starting. And if I'm dating you, it's because uh-huh. I want to seriously date you. Yeah. So what does that look like? And like we've talked about where, is she, does she have the capabilities of being a good 
wife and a good Mm -hmm. mom and being able to, you know, be responsible, like you said. Yeah, have the maturity to balance all of those Mm -hmm. things. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, Another one, he said, I heard this one. (laughs) Yes. Uh, While they were on the phone. He was very adamant (laughs) about this one. Um, Is if she doesn't have any life goals, which is interesting to me because I'm not a five-year plan kind of person. I don't sit around and think about life in that way. I have goals I'm working towards constantly, but I'm not, okay, in five years I'm going to do this, and so i got to do X, Y, Z to get there. Uh, And I think when I'm on the flip side, I'm going to talk about my actual experience, like looking at guys, I like for a guy to have goals, but I don't, I think sometimes we think that means that they have to have their life all planned out, and that's not what that means to me at least. I look at it, I mean, if your life goal is to honor and glorify the Lord wherever and however he wants you to, I'm good with that. Oh, for sure. And if... Getting to that goal is being faithful and obedient and doing the next right thing here and now. That is plenty for me. Yeah, and I think another thing, I'll speak for my brother on this one because we (laughs) were actually talking about this this weekend. This could also be interpreted as, do you have things you're passionate about? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, are you passionate about volunteering for a certain thing? Are you passionate about podcasting? Are you passionate about writing? Are you passionate about fill in the blank? Do you have things that you wake you up in the morning? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Because that's something that it's like you want somebody who cares about things Mm -hmm. and it's not just floating through like, I don't really care about anything or I don't really want to, you know, you don't want a hobby collector. No, but I mean, I rephrase. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Other people might. And there's nothing wrong with that. I said that kind of harshly, I think, but kind of like what you're saying. Do they have something that really is? They're pursuing, they're going after, and they're passionate about. I think those can kind of be all under one category. The last thing he said is if she only hangs out with guys. Yeah. Which I totally get. And we kind of talked about that in the Friend Zone episode, too. Yeah. I mean, if she doesn't have any girlfriends, that would raise a red flag for me. Just like if a guy doesn't have any guy (laughs) friends, that's going to raise a red flag for me, too. Yep. So I think that's totally valid. Yeah. So, and I think all of those are reasonable. None oh, of them for were, sure. I, for none of them, I was like, oh my word, he's such a guy. Yeah. Like, I didn't think that for any of them. No, it's, I didn't I mean, either. It was all things that I'm like, oh yeah, I'd friends on a guy if he were like that too. And I think a lot of these, you can kind of think both ways of, okay, why would I friend zone a guy? Mm-hmm. Most likely, he would probably friend zone a girl for the same reason. Yep. There may be a few gender specific ones. Sure. But... These were just some of the ones that my sweet little brother <laughs> pointed out that I thought were really good reasons. And I wouldn't, if I were doing one of these things and I found out, oh, this is why a guy wasn't interested in me, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, that kind of, after I probably calmed down and got my feelings hurt, but yeah. I'd be like, okay, that kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. So I think these are, this is a great little checklist to go through of, am I doing these things? And is this why maybe the guy I like isn't interested or good. isn't making a move? And good news. You can fix all of those. Oh, definitely. These aren't beyond repair no. things here. So if you listen to this and you were like, ooh, ouch, on a couple of those, because you do them. I mean, right? I've definitely done some of these before. Oh, me too. Now definitely. you know. And you can stop. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all there is to it. And join us next time. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. And we're wrapping up. No. No, but for real, but we are. Ser- yeah, seriously, though. That's, I mean... That's all there is to it. Yeah. I so mean, we're really sorry. We didn't answer our own question yeah, originally. But thanks for your grace. Thank we you. appreciate it. For, I'm sure. Yes. Thanks, if, Krista and Ray, for calling Krista, us out. If they were. Yes. If they, Why can't I string together four words? I don't know. If they were that puzzled and quick to tell us, I'm sure plenty of you guys are like, oh, my word. They didn't answer. And I'd be like, that's the one thing I want to know. Where am <laughs> I, I going wrong? And they Excuse didn't even me. tell me. Yeah. So we were not trying to like bait and switch. There was no like. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. We just forgot. We forgot. So, thank You're the welcome. Lord for Couchcast. Yes. This is why we have this show. Okay. Oh. So, quick, um, easy, simple. Yeah. Until next time, I'm Bethany. And I'm Kristen. And this is Looking for the Middle. <laughs>